We certainly are. We are at the Empire Theatre. Something very special has been happening all week long, and it's running until Saturday. Two shows on Saturday of Impossible, a huge big magic extravaganza. Um, but not only that, there's some crazy stunts in this show too. Jonathan Goodwin, tell us more. Yeah, I'm a, a stunt performer, so I'm actually not a magician. I'm kind of the odd, odd one out in the show. And uh, I bring the danger, so I do, you know, I do a straitjacket escape where I'm completely on fire. I do a stunt where I'm hanging from my teeth. And there's also something fun with some crossbows too. So, yeah, it's uh, stupid and reprehensible. When did you get into this? When did you think, I want to straighten myself up in a straight jacket and set fire to myself? When did you decide that was your, going to be your career? I read a book about Houdini when I was seven years yeah. old, and that was that. I, you know, when I, Once I decided that I could do that as a job, that, that was it. So I've kind of done it ever since. Does, I've got to ask the question, does anything ever go wrong? It, it has done, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have a pretty good batting average. Uh, and obviously there are safe, safety pr protocols in, in place, but yeah, the last time that I did the fire straitjacket escape uh, I, uh, and, and didn't get out was at Radio City Music Hall in front of 6,000 people. Finally, why should people come and see Impossible? Uh, I think that people should come and see Impossible. There really is something for everybody. We know there's a huge cast. We all have very, very varied and different skills. You're now going to show me something. Yes. You're not putting me in a straight jacket. I'm not going to put you in a straight jacket. Okay. Um, it's actually a little bit of an experiment about words, okay. if that's okay. If, if I can ask you to just go and st stand back against this speaker okay. right here. Just, just, stand, just stand here? Stand there. That's, that's grand. Right. Now, you, you feel fine right now, don't you? I feel okay. A little bit nervous, but, yes. but yeah, okay. But it's interesting how a word can change how you feel. Okay. Like, uh, right now you said you feel okay. If mm -hmm. I change the word from speaker to target you, you probably feel oh like, my god you feel a little what bit is different that? Right, don't you? Uh, what are we is, doing this is a crossbow uh, i've been shooting crossbows since i was 16 years old and and there's a very big and elaborate crossbow routine in in the show not by seeing a target hmm. but by hearing a target and that's something that you can help me with but if i turn this round okay we have a, a a balloon right We've there. We've got a balloon, okay. Yeah. I'm going to give you a bell. Right. And I also hear a blindfold. It's made of one piece of metal. Uh, in fact, I'll take the, you've got your hands full. I'll take the bell from you. We'll put it back up there. Uh, have a look at it. In fact, put it on if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Uh, make sure that you can't see through, that it is actually solid. You're like Zorro. Um, I can't see a thing. You can't see a thing. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Blindfold on. Okay. I'm going to go just over there. Yeah. And I would like you to ring the bell in front of the balloon. Okay. Uh, so like that. Uh huh. Exactly. And then when I tell you to stop, when I'm happy, I want you to drop your hand and hit the balloon. Okay? Right. Okay. Happy? No, not really. <laughs> but so I literally stand here like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. A little bit closer. Jesus Christ! Can I swear on TV? <laughs> All right. Uh, are you okay? Not you don't really. You have to do this if you don't want to. It is genuinely dangerous and not a magic trick. I want free tickets to the show, so I better do it to be, to be fair. Okay, Jay. A little slower if you wouldn't mind. Oh my God, look at that. Great man. Minus the heart attack, that was very, very good. Jonathan, Thank well you. done. Um, you have got sweaty palms. <laughs> I have got sweaty palms. <laughs> and that is a real crossbow. Yeah. There was part of me that was thinking maybe that was something that was going to go off here and, and a bit of trickery would have happened, but that just happened. Yes. Oh my God. 
Can you give us any indication? <laughs> it's, it's actually not as difficult as it would say. It's one of those things that's impressive because it's something you never do. But literally, all I'm doing is listening. listening and, you know, you rely so much on your sight for spatial awareness. You're actually, re your ears are really, really useful for mm. spatial awareness. We just don't give them any credit. So I was ringing in front of the balloon. Uh -huh. If I would have been ringing maybe there, you would have, you would have gone that way and, and yes. hit the wall or hit my hand yes. or whatever and, else. And actually, uh, this would go right through a cinder block wall. Uh, finally, I know I've asked you this before, I presume this is why people need to get the tickets to this show. If stuff like this happens, they've got to come and see it. Yeah, I mean, really, as I said, it's live theatre, you never know what's going to happen, and it's real and it's dangerous and it's happening right in front of your eyes. Yeah, and my legs are shaking, look. And there's a bar over there, so I'm going to take us get that way and we're going to get a tonic. stiff drink. Uh, Jonathan and all the gang at The Impossible, it's on until Saturday afternoon here at the Liverpool Empire. Let's go and get a bevy. All right.